Hi, and welcome to the A Quilting Life podcast. I'm Sherry from A Quilting Life. And I'm Chelsea from Chelsea Stratton Designs. And we want to wish you a very happy Merry Christmas. This is airing the day after Christmas. (laughs) And it is a fun, special outtakes episode. So you get to see some (laughs) things that were actually cut from previous podcasts and videos too yeah a few a few <laughs> things from videos as well that I snuck in there I'm okay. a little nervous We're, but it's gonna yeah. be fun and exciting <laughs> yes Chelsea and I actually haven't seen, seen it. this we're <laughs> taping this introduction and we will be watching it when you watch it so as you can see they just finished their live stream of their new fabric collection that you can see now right it's yeah. available <laughs> yeah so and but we will have our next regularly scheduled episode that will be available on Monday, January 9th, 2023. 2023. So crazy. <laughs> yes. And since the new year is fast approaching, we want to also tell you happy new year and thank you for following along through the entire year of the podcasts and videos. Yes. Happy new year. We are so grateful and appreciative. We love our listeners and everyone who watches and tunes in. We just love you all and want to wish you that happy new year. Okay, and now you'll be able to enjoy, hopefully they're funny, the, the outtakes from our previous recordings. No, so mom tells me the other day, she's like, you're not going to believe this book I'm reading. It's about the life of Jane Austen. She was kind of telling me about it. And I was, my interest was piqued because, let me tell you how obsessed, I'm just, I won't go off. I could talk for 15 <laughs> minutes. I am obsessed with Pride and Prejudice. And I think it's because I'm such like a, I, I love romance and I just love that story so much. And it was just awesome. And I actually follow this meme account on Instagram that's oh. like only Pride and Prejudice memes. Oh, you have to send that to oh, me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> because I'm just so obsessed with, Mr. with Mr. Darcy and like I think my husband is just like him. Anyways, so 2005 film version though, I will say with um, Matthew McFadden and Matthew McFadden and um who's the girl from from Is it Kira Knightley? Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. <laughs> Guys, the 2005 film I just die. It's amazing. Okay, yeah. sorry. Obsessed. No, I and obsessed with the book. Yeah. No, in fact, I I actually thought after I read the biography that I might read all of her novels after that you well, know i'm just so. letting you know i have your pride and prejudice book oh, and that's where it is i have the other one do you have my one from college that has all my college notes in it i will not tell okay <laughs> <laughs> so i i'll bring back there's another one that kira knightley and matthew mcfadden were in a different movie together as well that well, she wrote a book so. i don't know if i've talked about this before but oh, when, no. when i so I had a, a class in college for my degree, and it was uh, the B- British romantic novels. And we read... My heart. Uh, you know, British romantic novels. It was a whole guys. class in that. And I had this, this sweetest little professor. I had him later for British romantic poetry. Maybe I had him for three classes, because I, I feel like I studied Dickens with him, too. So I, anyway... He was he was the sweetest little professor, and he would he often had his ten year old son reading what we were reading, and and he would say, if, you know, how did you not get those pages read between last class and yeah. this class? My ten year old did it, you know, and I'm yeah. sure his ten year old was a genius. But <laughs> anyway, I just you know, I I took good notes in those books. Yeah. So if you have my college I notes. Will. <laughs> I need to I read that I, copy. <laughs> I think I have your Withering Heights one, but I don't love that okay. one as much. Yeah. Same teacher. So, Same teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Well, Billy. I hope, Sorry. I hope, this really got off topic. Sorry. I hope everyone enjoys, you know, English and the American foray. literature. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. You have to go first. Why? I went first on the last <laughs> one. Okay, fine. Yay. I'm going to say... Dun, 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 dun. You were so do that like the... <laughs> I'm trying to think which Now one. everyone knows he's going to do it. It's going to be like the skip. No, not, de- <laughs> definitely not that one. Yeah. Or this one? Yeah, okay. we're just, yeah, yes. we're doing all the sound I'll effects. Cu- I'll cut it and then I'll do this. Okay. I'm going to say Clover Hollow. <laughs> but that being said, it sometimes changes. What did he say? 
don't know. Should we just see if dad, let me just make sure dad's got a hold of him oh, so it doesn't happen again. Are you guys okay? <sighs> So we have. In the bathroom. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, I think I was saying that being said, so I'll say that again. But then I was also at McCarran Airport and Lil John walks into the airport. <laughs> Is this a, a musician? <laughs> yes. Uh, he's oh, a rapper. Sorry. He's a rapper. Okay. He's, Lil sort, he's sort of like not up to date anymore but yeah, he yeah. was in the 2000s he was okay. he had that that song yeah with usher oh, anyways okay. so Lil john walks in well somebody yells from right next to me yeah because that's like Lil john's like thing he's always like yeah <laughs> and then Lil john without hesitation goes what yeah like repeats it oh. and like does his thing from the song oh fine and Everyone was like cheering and clapping and guys, that's <laughs> my lane to fame. Okay. <laughs> and Billy, if you need to cut that, that's okay. No, I think, I mean. Very if, exciting stories. Yeah. I don't know how many people will, will get that reference, but if that, with, with that music, I mean, I know what you're talking about. Our but younger, you should play the music. Yeah. Listeners yeah maybe it. some of the younger listeners yeah. that might, Come might on, guys. know that. <laughs> Vouch for me. Vouch for me. Anyways, that was my three. So. All right. Was that not crazy? I didn't even I turn. Gonna, I was going to do a lot of pictures while you're talking, but that's fine. The music will play. You should play it. I think Grandma's here. Maybe. Hi, I'm Chelsea Stratton from Chelsea Stratton T Designs. Right there. Come on. Gosh, that was crazy. To add more stuff to it. Well, good. We can just lay it on. Thank you, Dad. Dad was over here shaking. <laughs> <laughs> See, I learned these little different things. Yeah, we actually uh, found a scorpion downstairs a couple uh, weeks ago, and we have been kind of freaked out about it. What? <laughs> yes, and it was underneath the desk with Dad's computer right off the kitchen. Why I, did you not tell me this? I have been walking around know, your barefoot. house with my I'm, socks on. I'm barefoot right now myself, so <laughs> yeah, we've been a little nervous. So Stop it. Yeah, so be careful. Mom! <laughs> I, I know they're outside. I've seen them outside, but that was the first time I saw one in the house. One snuck in. It happens. One. They, those scare me though, because <laughs> they like, you know, like creepy crawlies, they have legs, but this thing is like... Has a stinger. It, 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 well, not even <laughs> yeah. that. It's got, it's next level. Those <laughs> things have pincers yeah. and six legs and a stinger. Yes. Like that is wild. Yeah, That's a wild I don't creature. Like scorpions. <gasps> <laughs> My child You've is in the next up. room right now. You've it's grown downstairs. up in the desert your entire life. I know. You shouldn't be that freaked out by scorpions. I don't think they can make it up the stairs. <laughs> I think they're only going to be downstairs. <laughs> so. I think that's safe to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it would take uh, one heck of a scorpion to climb the stairs. <laughs> uh, okay. It'd be the end of the world if there was a scorpion that big. Yeah. <laughs> you want to show the backing? Mm, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm fine. Do you want to show the backing? Yes, I do want to show the backing. Yeah. <laughs> this is, now you don't have to work out. You just... <laughs> no, I got to work out my legs today. <sighs> okay. Dude, Good idea. Today. Oh my gosh. It's so bad for you. Okay. This quilt measures at 63 and a half. Dang it. I said it runs 61 and a half by 73. I'll just start this quilt. Woo. Okay, so that's it for this month's Sew Sampler Box from Fat Quarter Shop. It's so fun that it is the July box. <laughs> but I, 
It was it cute. Looks I liked like it's it. clean. And yeah, very clean, very sweet, very, cute. And yeah. I just I can't quit Jane Austen. Like the yeah. other night, I was sitting reading passages from Pride and Prejudice again <laughs> because I'm just so obsessed with it. <laughs> I'm like the greatest love story of all time. Yeah, but it's because Mr. Darcy reminds me of my husband. He's very like. <laughs> I can't, Billy's gonna cut all of this out. <laughs> <laughs> He is. He really is. He's so tired of me talking about it. I think you should leave it in. Because he's clearly kind of aloof. Is that like the... Yes. What, and when I what? met him, I was very like, I'm going to tell you how it is. And he's just very like, he's very eloquent. Like he just says, he doesn't just talk. Like he's very calculated about what he says. So I yeah. think I just found the last segment of the outtakes. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Goodness. Darcy. So it Mr. will be published, Darcy. but I don't know if it'll be published in the episode. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I knew it was you. Yeah, you're sorry. You're, you're shut up now, Chelsea. You can do it. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Can I get a drink? I am so immature. Every night during family prayers, I'm the one who laughs first. <laughs> okay. Smile. What? It's... I can't do it now. <clears throat> Smile. Hi, and welcome to the Quilting Life podcast. This episode is airing Monday, October 24th. Wait, 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 wait. You usually say, I'm Chelsea, right? <sighs> Okay. Oh, okay. and then I'll say today is October 24th. Okay, After smile. After mom says who she is. Okay. Yes. Smile. Okay, so before we get to listener questions, though, is there anything new that you want to share? Yeah, I actually okay. do because I talked about it this morning. I don't have it here with me, but I listened to Taylor Swift's new Midnight's <laughs> album. I'm sorry. I have to go off on this. <laughs> and it was lovely, you guys. If, you la- if you're Taylor, I know some people aren't Taylor Swift fans, but her new album was wonderful. And I listened to it the whole thing through this morning and then halfway through again this morning. Billy, you guys, is cringing. He is literally cringing. He's not a Taylor Swift fan. control of what's published at the yeah. end of this. <laughs> oh, he, he, I guess he could delete this whole he section. He totally could co- delete the Taylor Swift thing. Okay, well, I guess we're moving on. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs>